In this video we're going to take a look at the Hackerman challenge on Hack the Box. It's a easy stego challenge and the description says there should be something hidden inside this photo. Can you find out? Uh, this is another challenge which I solved about three and a half years ago so I can't remember at all what what it entailed so it'll be kind of new for me. Let's uh, take a copy of the image, JPEG image this time and let's do some basic file checks. Let's first of all actually have a look at the image. Didn't bother doing that last time. All right, so we've got this Hackerman image with uh, Elliot Alderson here from Mr. Robot. Um, cool. Let's do some file checks. So we'll check the file type first of all. You can see it is a JPEG image. We can have a look at the strings, and we have a some potentially a hex values here, maybe a hash. Hash ID. So it could be, it could be an MD5. Um, let's see what else we have. Let me run that again, but do um, dash n10 just so we get the longer strings in there. Okay, um, so we've got that hash value. Let's bear this in mind we'll, while we run XF tool. And okay, nothing too interesting. Let's try and run foremost. And there didn't seem to be any other files in there, so uh, let's have a look on CyberChef and see if this hash converts to anything. It might just be hex value that needs decoding, so let's say from hex. Nope. Um, Let's try and do magic on it just in case. No. Let's go to crack station. Let's see if it's a hash. Uh, see if see if it can be cracked. Here. Recapture requires verification, but there's no. Is this loading? Yeah. Okay. Um, traffic lights. Does this count this bit? Do you think I'm gonna do it? No, it didn't apparently. Uh, crosswalks. Oh wow, it's supposed to be a. <laughs> I should have just used hashcat. Okay, let's go. There we go. The result was almost. So that would have been cracked very fast in hashcat as well. That's actually um, hashcat dash m one thousand, I think. Um. Uh, hashes. Let's create the hash hash here, and uh, let me just double check the what order this is supposed to be in. Hashcat. So the dictionary is at the end. Hash and then dictionary. Okay. Hashes and the dictionary. We'll do user share word lists. Um, we can just do rock you. Should find it pretty quickly. Let's see if this would have been quicker than doing those captures. Um, exhaust, did it find it? I don't see it there. No. Um, hmm. Oh, NTLM. Uh, sorry, one second. What's the hash cap mode? Where's MD5? It might be zero actually. Zero. Um, okay. Change this mode to zero. I'm trying to crack a Windows hash there. Bit of a mistake. And yeah, it cracked there very quickly, almost. So yeah, we'll just do that in future. Rather, I'm not doing those captures every time I need to crack a hash. Um, so the password there, or the the hash, comes out to almost. So maybe this is a password for. Um, to extract some data from the image. Let's check that out. Okay, so um, let's, we can do apt list and say we want to grep for steg and we can get an idea what tools we have installed here. We could also 
search, apt get or apt cache search. Steg if we want to have a look for other stego tools here that we could install. Um, what's what some tools that we used in the last? We used stego suite last time. Let's um, open up stego suite and just. Or no, we used. Yeah, steg. Oh, we did check this one out. Let's um, extract. Just came up with an error there. Extracting data error. Um, hmm. Let's try that again. Put in the password almost. It says here zero embedded files. Does that mean it didn't detect anything embedded though? Extracted with password almost. Don't see. Nah, it looks like it's just not doing much for us. Stag solve as well. Okay, that's one that we solved the last challenge with. Where we can go through and check through the different planes here. Nothing standing out to us. We could go. Uh, what about data extract here? That's by that's selecting different planes and MSB and stuff like that to extract data from it. So okay, cool. Let's um, now that we've explored those tools, let's have a look at Steg Hide. That was a tool that we tried last time. Let's get up the help. We tried this last time, but it was it only works for JPEG and a couple of others. I think I can't remember exactly. Oh yeah, here, uh, JPEG. All right, I know it works for JPEG anyway. Last time we had a PNG image, so let's do let's do info. So we'll do steg hide. Uh, we'll just pass in the file and then info. No, it's info then file name. I always get that mixed up. And it says here, try to get information about embedded data. Yes. It says enter the passphrase. Could not get extract any data with that passphrase. Let's do it again. And when it says enter passphrase, let's say almost. And then we get this embedded file, hackerman.txt. It's encrypted um, with chain block cipher encryption. Um, did that extract the file though? We probably need to do ext extract. So now that we know that there's the file in there, we've got the password right, we can say extract dash sf for the stego file and we pass in the file name and then give the password almost. We get the the data has been written to, to hackerman.txt. So let's try and cap that out. And we've got a base64 encoded value. So let's do base64 dash d. Hackerman, oops, uh, hackerman.txt, and there we get our flag. And there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks.